12. She told me she'd beat her by seven. By seven! Not seven or three. She's not coming. She's not. She would have been here by now. Okay. Calm down. You're being neurotic. I love that word. I gotta write it down. <laughs> seven five. Really? Well, I mean, that kid that can sit up by his name see your problem. I'm that kid. I see it now. I applied for my first job and they ask me, Randy, can you describe a difficult time in your life and how you overcame it? And what do I say? Why, yes. I was that kid that could stood up by his day for senior prom. You see, I'm obviously neurotic and not worthy of showcasing my embarrassing dance moves or poor choice of clothing for one night. <laughs> how I overcame it? I did it! That's why I'm standing here applying for a job at Arby's. I'm a 45-year-old man who lives in his mother's basement. That's my future. It's clear. <laughs> Seven ten. Tuned. Tuned. Who says that? That's so 1980s, so pretty and pink. My underwear on backwards. I know they are. It's like that time, <laughs> that one time the coach said, "If you don't get ready, you're not gonna play." And so I changed really fast, and there she was, standing there. And my crotch was in the back, and <laughs> vice versa. Doomed from the beginning. Oh, hey, Josh. <laughs> Just waiting for Lindsay. She's not late, though. It's only 7-12. <laughs> Wait, what? 6-12? No. What do you mean? It's 6-12. Daylight, daylight savings time? <laughs> when? <laughs> In March? <laughs> it's June? <laughs> Thanks, Josh. See you at the dance. <sighs> She's coming. She is. Wait a minute. I've been living an hour behind the world for the past three months. Doomed! <laughs>